Well, hi, hello, Stampers. Welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Valder. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness, and today I'm so excited. I'm going to show you a mini series on one little die set to show you all of these cards right here. Each and every one of them has different techniques in there, so I wanted to do them in little mini series so that if you wanted to ever go back and just look at one, you could do that um, without having to sit through all of them. All right, so the die set that I'm going to be using is this little guy right here. All right, um, it's called Floral squares and it, it's just so very versatile you get all of these dies in the set and they're in our shop so make sure you click on the little eye above that'll get you right to the shop and you could start shopping away all right so let's get started with our series so here's another in our series and this one is done with alcohol ink background it is just such a pretty easy easy card but I wanted to also show you how to do this little window okay so when you cut them out and I do cut out a lot of them when I'm cutting them out so I I'm working um, smarter not harder all right so with this one right here I used this little guy right here um, but let me show you how I got it back into that little piece right there so we're gonna take a piece of cardstock and I, I um, already um, added the wording to the bottom of it and we're gonna take the die that goes along with this one so these are the six okay that we're gonna be using and um, the one we're gonna be using is this little guy right here so let's take you over to the Vagabond and I'm going to show you how to cut it out. So what you want to do first, and it doesn't matter what way this goes because we're going to add it afterwards. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on here and run it through our Vagabond. So let's do that. Making sure you get it nice and straight. Okay. so this is what we have let's bring you back over here with me okay and now we have your little guy right here let's just see I think I got a spot right there my little sand eraser takes off everything okay so let's just grab this now we're gonna just take the pieces out of here like this I'm gonna grab my little poker and poke this out okay and let's see, we've got a bunch of little guys right here. All right, and now we have this piece that we just cut out. We've got our window, okay, that we just cut that out of. And I need my base card right here, all right? So that is the first part of it. Now let me just show you how I did the alcohol part of it. And you can make a very large piece, which is what I like to do, and then just save it and cut it up. So I have a bunch of squares already done, but I wanted to show you real quick how I did this, okay? Because there's nothing worse than... Um, getting it done so we have this little alcohol ink kit um, that you can purchase and it's got you know a red a blue and a, a yellow in there it's got your mixative it's got your um it's got your uh um blending solution um, it's got an ink pad it's got the little alcohol um, blender um, so this is a good way to start if you haven't started any uh, if you've never done alcohol inks before make sure you use a, vel a well ventilated room um, it's just it's a fun way to do stuff um, but we also have other colors in the shop so make sure you check those out too so all the first thing you need to do is make sure your alcohol inks are um, very well shaken up you'll hear the little uh the little balls that are in there if you don't hear them that means it's not shook up shaken up okay because all of that good stuff is on the bottom all right so now that i've got all that done i've got the mixative i've got my blender solution um now what we're going to do is we've got um our alcohol ink paper which is right here okay and the other thing that we're going to be using is our little puffer okay so you don't have to use a straw anymore all right so we've got our little puffer and let's get started so the first thing i do is i put some alcohol solution on here okay this is just the blending solution just to get it started now there's many 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 different ways to use alcohol inks this is just one of them all right i do like to get it as close to the sides as possible because like i said i like to use this entire sheet 
okay? That might be a little bit too much, but it's okay. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I like to start with um, just the one color at a time and watch how magical this is. Okay, there's that one. And then the darkest one I like to do just a very, 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 very little. But I'm gonna use three colors. Like I said, I like to get it all the way, oops, all the way to the end. So that I can use the whole sheet. Okay. All right, there's that. So far, so good, right? Really pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we're going to take some of our blue. Let me just make sure it's shaking up. There we go, shook up. Okay, and don't overdo the, ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm looking for the white spots now. Okay, and then let me just clean this up. Alrighty, and let's take our little puffer and just blow them. Around. Now you can always add more reinker also, or I'm sorry, more um, blending solution also. So it's drying up over here. Let's just add a little bit of solution so I can show you what I mean. All right, and then the last step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I like to use a clothespin and um, just a cotton ball, but inside our little kit, it actually has It actually has um, a, a, a special little um, blender, all right? And then what I'm gonna do now is to add some of our mixative, all right? So I'm just gonna take this, all right? Add it to this little guy right here. Add some blending solution. You don't want a whole lot of that because it really will overpower your piece. And we don't want that to happen. There we go. There we go. Okay, now in the middle, because we got it lighter on the outside than we do the inside. Okay. What I'm going to do is add just a tad bit more color. There we go. You could play with this all day long. And then what I'll do is I'll let this set aside to dry. And like I said, if I wanna go back and just touch it up, I can do that. There we go. That's more the look I was going for. There we go. All right, so you can kind of play with this as much or as little as you want. I just love what it does. I just love what it does. It just kind of goes its own way. A little puffer. We'll push it. It's just fun to play with. All right, so I'm gonna let this set aside to dry because I do have one already done. So we could kind of expedite this. But All right, so now we're going to take, um, let's see, all right, let me clean this up right here. All right, and let's bring back in some of our pieces. So now we have uh, this little guy right here that we already cut out, okay? And we've got our, whoops, oh, this is the one over here, okay. So we've got the piece that we cut out, we've got our base, I always do more than one. So yes, I do have another one all set and ready to go, you know, because like I said, I, I just kept cutting up these pieces and I kept cutting up these pieces. So I have a lot of these pieces, I have a lot of these pieces and 
Like I said, I work smarter, not harder. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is you have to put the window back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna put this the way I want it to be, okay? Even though I cut it out like this or like this, now I'm gonna put it in the way I want it to be. All right, so I just want it to go in just like this. We're gonna lay it down just like that, just perfect, perfect, perfect. Now this time, we're gonna use our uh, foam tape and we're just gonna lay it down very close to the edge because you have to pick up this piece as well as this piece. So it does have to be close to the end. And then just trim this off and do this on all four sides, okay? The foam tape we have in the shop comes in white and black and because I'm using white paper, I decided to use the white foam tape. All right, but if I was using a dark colored paper, I would use the black. Make sure that you capture that little um, that little piece right there because if you don't, you're not going to, um, it's not gonna be glued into your piece, all right? Does that make sense? All right, so here's this and this. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a piece down here and that's all we need. Okay, put this aside. Take this off. Now the next piece that you're gonna take and put on is your um, piece that you cut out. And what I did was, um, I cut this just a little bit larger. You see what, how, how pretty it is once it dries? Look at that beautiful, beautiful look. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just lay this on here like this. I'm gonna do it this way so that I can still, I, what I'm looking for to do, what I'm looking to do is to make sure I can still see some of the, um, some of the sticky tape. Oh, so pretty. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? Um, because this is gonna be the, the part that glues it on here. So I've got glue here, I've got glue here, here, and here. And then we're just gonna add this to our piece right here. See how fast these cards are? Just absolutely fast, fast, fast. Now one other thing that I wanna do is I wanna get one of my um, little mini foam squares, all right? And add that to, see how this is kind of drooping down? These two are, are popped up because they're attached to that little triangle, but this little guy right here needs a little bit of support. I'm just gonna tip him upside down and add them right there and that is our piece isn't that so so very pretty now depending on how high or low that you go where you put your words you know it's totally up to you that's why i like to do the words first all right so make sure you follow the other five videos for this little stamp or this little die set and you're good to go i hope you enjoyed my post for today take care and have a great day thank you hope oh, before i do that i have to show you the other cards so that's the one we did today. Here's the one we did the other day. And here is another one. And another one. And another one. So come back and I'll show you how to do all of these. All right, take care, have a great day, and thank you for stopping by.